Today on Always Hungry, we're gonna make some steak tacos with the most beautiful salsa verde in the world. Let's go. So first thing first, we're gonna do the salsa verde. We're gonna grill some vegetables. I got some beautiful tomatillos here. We're gonna cut these in half. I got some beautiful peppers, some poblano, some chichito, some jalapeno. Uh, we're gonna grill some white onions as well. We're gonna also roast some garlic, some pineapple, and then we'll blitz everything into the most beautiful sauce in the world. We're gonna get this thing nice and hot. Tomatillos, those, we're gonna peel these off. Take this thing off, like this. Okay, so, tomatillo, we're just gonna cut these in half like this, easy peasy. Boom, boom, boom. Go, perfect. And then we put some of the best olive oil in the world right in there. Just not too much, just a little bit. Like this. There you go. And these can go right on the grill. Oh yeah. Ooh, hot. And now same thing for the peppers here, put everything in the bowl, boom, olive oil, a bit more salt, just toss it around, there you go, put this around there. Beautiful. Next up, we'll take a look at those little tomatillos here. So we have some nice char, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Oh yeah. Perfect. So down on both sides, it's a nice char. That's really gonna take the flavor of that salsa to the next motherfucking level, baby. Okay. Now for the onions, we're gonna cut these in nice slices so we can peel them off. Some nice rings. We have more surface to grill. There you go. Actually, I'm only gonna do one onion. I'm gonna peel this one for later as well. For the cilantro and onion garnish. Classic taco garnish. Okay. Okay, peppers are good to be flipped too. Nice little color there. You can turn them back a few more times after that too. It's cool. Yeah. Is the arm gonna go off? We don't know. We don't know yet. To be determined. Yeah, to be followed. To be continued. Okay. Cool. So onions, we're just gonna do like this. Some nice slices. I'm gonna try to keep them intact. Like this. Like this. This one might go like this. Keep it intact. Kind of like this. There you go. Perfect. These are good to go. Tomatillos can go in there for now. Love that smell, tomatillos. And for this, we're not even going to take the skin off. I really want the charred flavor in there, so we're gonna keep the skin on, so we don't wanna go too crazy on the burning. Some nice little char. There we go. Perfect. 
And now we can even go with the onions right away. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on there too. There you go. Onions on. Perfect. Next, we'll do some green onions as well. I want to keep the green raw. I'm going to grill the white part like this. Oh no! Here we go. Here we go. You want to open the window, bro? Okay, so peppers are good to go as well. I'm gonna put that in there for now. Boom, boom. It's fucking smoky in here. Woo! All right, so let's take all the onions. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Woo! Woo, she's hot. And now the onions here too. Gonna cut the tips now, it's gonna be easier. Whoop. Onions, perfect. Also we're gonna do the garlic here. Just cut the head in half. This, bit of oil. Perfect. See? Just go with the flow, baby. Just grill, get some nice color. Nice char on there. This is good to go. Woo! Oh, wow. That's perfect. Okay, green onions are good to go. From there, onions are good to go as well. Woo! Woo! It's smoky in here. Oh, look at that beautiful garlic too. Wow, look at this. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Almost done with the grilling. Now it's time for pineapple. I'm gonna cut this up. Also, I think I'm gonna take the core off first. Like this, and do a peel. Perfect. And now I think I'll just cut this in half like this. And then also in half again. This, now this core can go off, core off. Now, get some nice char on there. I'm even gonna cut these another time like this. To have more surface to grill. Boom. And then we can do a bit of olive oil in there. A bit of salt again. Get a nicer crust and then here we go. See, the sun is sitting on the pineapple. Life is good. Lighting's good. You're good. I'm good. This is gonna be so good. The knife's not in a good position though. That's dangerous. No, you stay. All right, now we're just gonna get the, those peppers here. Real trim, cut the tips off. You can leave the seeds and all, it's fine. It's gonna be hella picante. 
poblano, a little shishiso. So pepper can go straight in there. Boop. Can go with the raw green onions, the grilled white green onions, and then the garlic, we're gonna squeeze it in there. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, perfection. Wow, 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 wow. Caramelizing nicely. And here, oh yeah. Look at that. Beauty. Perfect. Okay. And then uh, all of this can go in there as well. Our tomatillos and white onion. All in, get a nice juice in there as well. Don't waste anything. Perfection. While this is grilling, we can even add our cilantro right away. We can be quite generous on the cilantro. Put a whole bunch in there. That's perfect, just push it down. Let's look at this now. A bit more on the grill. Yeah, baby, it's gonna be so good. All right, we also have time to get some limes cut in half. Go, just roll those down to get some juice. Juicy limeys, baby. Cut these in half. I'm gonna cut, keep one for the garnish at the end. Keep two actually, yeah, there you go. All of these cut in half. We could even go and grill those, but I think I'm gonna keep the nice fresh lime flavor get in the salsa. These are probably good to go too. That's good enough. Get in there. Get in there. Whoop. 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 Et voila. All right, lime in. I'm gonna do probably all of these. The smell is unreal in there. Oh yeah, the lime joined the party. It's ridiculous. Okay, and in there, you know, because we're cooking Mexican food, I always like to add a bit of cumin. There you go. Do like uh, two tablespoons, no sorry, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of cumin in there. That should be good, not too much. And also, I'm gonna add a bit of chipotle for that nice little smoky flavor. We'll do uh, one teaspoon. There we go. And also, just a touch of the best olive oil in the world, because you know. <laughs> okay, a bit of salt too. Okay, it's on, baby. Now, I don't want to blend that too much. I want to keep it kind of uh, on the rustic side. All right, let's check it out. Mmm. Spicy baby. So salsa is gonna go in that bowl here. Oh yeah, papi. That's a lot of salsa. It's a fucking taco party, baby. Next step for garnish, we need some nice, beautiful pickled red onions. Very classic, very easy to make. So we're gonna do here one part vinegar. I'm using some. Um, Raspberry vinegar, because that's all I have right now, but you can use white vinegar, that's totally fine. Probably even better. So we'll do one part vinegar, two parts water. And this. Perfect. And there, we we'll add some sugar, some salt, and some spices. I'm eyeballing this shit, because you know. I'm gonna put some 
peppercorn in there. I have some nice white peppercorn. Oh, sorry, some green peppercorn actually. Some green peppercorn will do two teaspoon. Oh, actually, I have this nice, uh, this nice pickling liquid spices here. A bunch of like cilantro and like uh, some crushed bay leaves in there. Perfect. Make it nice and tasty, baby. A fresh, fresh bay leaf in there. And cloves of garlic here. I'm just gonna smash those. There you go. Okay, one clove. Two cloves, voila. Onions, I wanna just slice those. Not too fine, because I wanna keep some bite. And also they're gonna cook in that hot pickling liquid, so. Here, we're gonna do half like this. And we're gonna cut the little core here. Et voila. We're gonna go like this. So onions are gonna go in there. Just gonna break them down a little bit. This, our pickling liquid is boiling now. So onions in. And then we're gonna pour our liquid right on top. Beauty. And now, what you wanna do is take something like this and push it down so everything stays underneath. Next up, the most lasting garnish for tacos, just a finely diced white onion and some chopped cilantro. I'm just gonna dice this very finely. Perfect. Voila. Nice, fine dice like this. Voila, onions in there, and then cilantro. I'm just gonna roughly chop this, so just kind of like. Roll it like a big, fat blunt. And I'm just gonna chop it. Stems and all, it's good. You know, just chop it finely. It's perfect. Stems are good for you. That should be good. So intro, right in there. Mix it with our hands like this. Like this, like this. Put some everywhere. It's perfect. It's fine. All right. Next step: shaved radishes. We're gonna take the tips off like this. The tips off. These are already cleaned. And then probably do a few more. All right. So, mandolin. Be careful with your fingers. We're gonna put it right on top of the ice water here and just shave away, shave away, shave away, shave away, shave away. This, and that's gonna get the radish nice and crispy. There you go, shave right in there. There we go. And then here, let that soak in cold water for a bit. It's gonna be perfect for later. And then it's time for steak, baby. Steak time. I'm gonna keep that very nice and simple because there's a lot of flavors going on. I'm gonna keep the beef flavor nice and clean. So just a bunch of salt, heavy on salt. You know me, you know me, baby. This, tap it in, flip it, tap it in. 
on the fat cap as well. There you go. No waste. Get everything. And there, perfect. So good to go. Now we're gonna get our pan nice and hot. It's cast iron pan here, ready to go. My steak is nicely seasoned. Let's put this thing in, baby. Woo! Oh, mamma mia. I think we're almost ready for a little flippy flip. Almost there. Almost there. We're trying to build that crusty, crusty. Oh, whoa. Come down. Okay, I think we're good for a little flippy flip, baby. Ready? All right, time for a little flip. Oh, ma, 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 ma. How beautiful is that? Very beautiful. Okay. Okay. And also, I found this in my freezer that I made a while ago. It's a compound butter, like a chili garlic butter. We're gonna put some in there to baste it and some on there to rest. It's gonna be beautiful and I'm hungry and you're hungry and you guys are all hungry. But only us get to taste it, but that's okay. Okay. And now we're gonna baste that bad boy with some beautiful butter here that I have. Put this whole thing in there, that's fine. Turn this thing down a little bit. I'm just gonna baste that big boy. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Get some more in there. Oh yes. Now we're just, you know, giving some love that beautiful beef that gives its life for our enjoyment, you know? It's the least I can do. This is fucking beautiful. Look at this. Can you see this? Can you fucking see this, bro? So the steak is good to go. I'm gonna put this thing to rest right on this tray here. Voila. And then we're not gonna waste this butter here. We're gonna pour that thing right on top like this. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Okay, so here we are. Now I got these corn tortillas, not homemade. I know, but you know, sometimes you just get a or shortcuts, you know? So uh, they come from a freshly baked tortilla place in Montreal, so they're pretty legit. So we'll just put those in a hot flat top like this. More passion, more passion, more energy, more energy, more footwork, more footwork. There you go. You can even do a bit of oil in there too. Sometimes I feel like with the, with the, with the, um, pre-made tortillas, it's good to have a bit of, uh, of extra moisture in there. They tend to be a little dry. You just need to warm these up, you know? You don't need to go crazy. Just a little bit like that. And then we're gonna put all the, the tortillas in there, cover it, the steam's gonna keep it nice and moist and warm. And you see those little bubbles there? It's exactly what we want. Right here? Oh yeah. Crank this up a little bit more even. More passion, more passion, more energy, more energy. There you go. These are good to go. Put these in there. These in there. All right, our steak has been resting for a little bit. Mm. Oh, wow, mama. 
It's good to be chopped up now in fine slices like this. Let's check it out. Things gonna be perfect. Oh, mamma mia, it's perfect. It's perfect, it's perfect. Oh, it's so buttery too. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh wow. Well. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh baby. How beautiful is this? Right? Just look how tender this thing is. See this? Oh, it's like falling apart. I'm gonna have to go for one, I'm sorry. Mmm. 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 Bro. Wow, that's good out. That's so good. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Let's go in there for sure. It's now time to assemble our tacos. So we're gonna go with a couple of tortillas like this. They're still nice and warm. Probably just gonna put a few like this here. Boop. 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 Nice, that's a good amount of tacos, right? There you go. Perfect. And on there, we're gonna do first, uh, I want to get the steak to kind of like shine on top. So I'm going to do salsa at the bottom actually. Here, salsa here, salsa there, salsa there. I'm going to be kind of generous with the salsa too. It's nice. We're going to do cilantro and coriander. Or cilantro and coriander, <laughs> same thing. Cilantro onion at the bottom like this. This, this, this. Three radishes per taco. Let's go. Let's go. And then we do some pickled onions in there too. A couple pickled onions. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The star of the show. Whoa, look at this. I think I'm gonna do one slice per taco. Just a big fat slice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. One slice here, one slice there. And now, what we're gonna do, we just eat a salsa a little bit more on top too, like this. Just a little dash, just a dash, you know? Just a little dash. And it's now time for our favorite part of all videos, tasting time. All right, I'm just gonna put some lime juice on top of this bad boy. Cut some of the fattiness out with some lime juice. It's perfect because that beef is fatty, baby. And hopefully, beef is tender enough that when I take a bite, it doesn't like kind of like pulls away. It's gonna be able to like just like do a nice break, clean bite, and I'll be happy. If not, I'll be very sad. So let's check it out. Okay. Whew. Whew. You guys ready? Mm. <laughs> wow. This is so fucking good. Mm. 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 Before I take this shot and I won't be able to speak anymore, I want to say thanks for watching this video. That's one of my favorite recipe of all time. It was actually the first viral video I did on TikTok a while back ago. So very happy to make it again in a long format. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe, hit that button, hit that bell, leave a comment, do all that stuff because I love you. I want to keep doing more YouTube videos. So salute. <laughs>